Welcome to this week's video. Today's topic is about the large and much in demand housing community south of downtown Santa Fe called El Dorado. This is the main entrance to El Dorado at Santa Fe, a large community in high demand about 15 miles south of the center of town. We'll take a look around and see all the things that are available here. This community is approximately 15 miles from the center of the city. It is sited on almost 21 square miles and is approximately 3,100 housing units, each on lots with a minimum of one to one and a quarter acres. In addition to the large home sites, there are acres and acres of open space with trails for hiking, horseback riding, or mountain biking. It is truly a peaceful, lovely, and beautiful place to live. And houses in the community are in general less expensive than a comparable house in Santa Fe proper. By way of history, the land was first occupied around 600 AD by the ancestral Pueblo people known as the Anasazi. They remained there until about 1135 when a disastrous drought hit the area and the peoples moved to the nearby Galisteo Pueblo, which unfortunately was also abandoned in about 1450. The land then became part of the Cañada de los Alamos Spanish land grant dating back to the mid-1700s. In 1901, the portion of the land grant that would become El Dorado was sold to the Onderdunk Land and Cattle Company for the tidy sum of $10,000. This land was operated as a cattle ranch into the 1950s and then sold to the Simpson family in 1956. They continued ranching operations until 1969 when the land was sold to the American Real Estate and Petroleum Company for the much improved price of $3.2 million. In 1972, this company started development of 6,000 of their 27,000 acres. The first lots were sold, but for the first 10 years, there were only about 200 houses built. In 1983, however, the company settled a water rights dispute and development really took off with the building of more energy efficient passive solar homes. It continues to be one of the largest solar based communities in the country. As of 2007, most of the lots were built out, but there are still miscellaneous lots scattered through the community, which are available for purchase. Most of El Dorado uses a community water system and all other utilities are underground that allows for uninterrupted views of the mountain ranges surrounding the area. For the most part, El Dorado is a self-contained community. This is one of two of the major shopping areas in El Dorado, the Agora. Uh, it is anchored by a large, well-stocked supermarket, as you can see off here to the left. And then beyond that, there are a number of other stores and shops and restaurants. We'll take a quick look at that. Here's a sign for the various shops in this portion of the Agora. Pretty much anything you could want to uh, make your life easier here. This is the large central plaza in the Agora. And off to the right, another convenience is a pack and ship facility. To the right of that is one art gallery. Here to the left, we have another art gallery. And next to that is the El Dorado Family Practice, a doctor on site. This is the outdoor patio for Arable, a wonderful restaurant here in El Dorado. Inside eating as well as outside. Cheeky Bubbles, clever name for a uh, pet salon for nail clipping and baths. Also here in the Agora is a hair and nail salon. Now we have Best Days, a uh, marijuana dispensary, both medical and soon to be uh, recreational use of marijuana, which will become legal as of April 1st. El Dorado Country Pet, a well-stocked pet supplies, food, what have you, a uh, great vendor in this property. At the back side of the Agora is Cameron Veterinary Clinic, owned and managed by Andy Cameron and staff. Uh, once again on site, immediately behind the Agora is a local bank, First National of Santa Fe. 
Here we are at La Tienda, the second major shopping area in El Dorado. As you can see, we have a French restaurant here, relatively new on the scene. Nearby at La Tienda is Santa Fe Brewing, a brew pub which offers um, local brews by Santa Fe Brewing Company. Next door to the brewing company is Del Norte Pharmacy. Here at La Tienda, we also have El Dorado Family Health, another medical facility for your need. A second post and parcel store um, in addition to the one found in the Agora. Here we have Thai cuisine for eat in or take out Thai food. Here is the El Dorado Gym and Fitness Center, a great array of equipment and they also hold um, dance classes, aerobics classes, etc. El Dorado True Value Hardware Store, again, don't have to go into town, your hardware needs are here. At the back end of La Tienda is El Dorado Community Church, recently opened and available for Sunday worship. Here we have El Dorado Community School, recently enlarged and updated. It is uh, middle school and elementary school combined, and it is one of the highest rated school systems in Greater Santa Fe. Here we have the Vista Grand Public Library, the El Dorado Community Library. Next door is the Max Cole Senior Center, which provides services for senior citizens, and it's also a satellite office for Santa Fe County. Here we are at the El Dorado Community Center, which is the offices for the Homeowners Association. There are many meeting rooms here for community get-togethers and special interest groups. Adjacent to the community center is the El Dorado Community Pool, open for residents throughout the summer and into early fall. Also adjacent to the community center is one of two large dog parks in the community. As you can see, it's very well cared for and is used by a number of the residents. As noted earlier in the presentation, the housing in this community is in very high demand and with current market conditions, when a house becomes available, it is quickly scooped up. At the moment of the 3,100 houses in the community, there is only one active listing, while there are 11 houses in pending. Over the past 12 months, 180 houses have been sold in an average of only 14 days on the market. The median list price of these homes has been 540,000, and interestingly, the median sold price has been 575,000. That's certainly a sign of a very hot market. Here is a sample of a typical El Dorado house. They are all built for the most part in the Pueblo style with flat roofs and earth tones and a heavy use of wood for accent. Throughout El Dorado, there are beautiful mountain vistas in all directions. If this is a community that you would like to pursue, it is critical that you work with a realtor who is familiar with the area and can set up searches for early notice of homes coming onto the market. Thanks again for watching this week. To learn more about living in the beautiful and unique land of enchantment, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, download my relocation guide, and tune into the other videos that I previously had done about Santa Fe Homes and Living. See you again soon.